yeah. the first, I mean, it was scary. You know, you know, nobody was really sure which direction they were going to go in. Mm -hmm. But the stuff that they did and the sort of steps that they gave to the community, I, uh, I just remember it so well. It was just, it, you know, it was a very kind of mixed up time anyway mm -hmm. for the whole. Wow. Did you grow up here? Oh, where is she from? The Mia West. Uh -huh. right? And I know it's staying up here. Yeah, and it was quite active, really active. Wow. So. Well, you know, know, I was a hippie, so. <laughs> so you were a, a supporter of yeah, the movement? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and I mean, that was the first time that it really opened up. I grew up here. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it really surprised me because, well, when I went to high school, there was one black person in my entire school. Wow. And, um, but people kept talking, and we were just talking about it recently, you know, that this is a low um, percentage of people that are people of color. Mm -hmm. And I never felt that way to me. I felt mm -hmm. who I hang around with. <laughs> But I mean, you know, and Martin is the king. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean. Are you still still active with the chapters that branched out now in the area? No. Like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I uh, I retired, but you know, when I was when I was younger, I was thinking about before I you know, when I retire, then I don't have to be doing these things. Like, I just sort of saying that to a friend. So what are you talking about? I mean, you think that you're supposed to get time off for participating? <laughs> and I realized how stupid that sounded. So that's funny. But you know, I I, I felt like I knew black people, and I was around them a lot from where I lived. Right. So, yeah. Right here in the central area. Yeah. So that they call this area the central area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Well, thank you for sharing that well, with you're me. Welcome. I'm a transplant to the area, so thank you for that, that little bit of history. I really appreciate it. Where are you from? I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's different everywhere. So uh -huh. I mean, just but this, this was, this movement was so powerful. Yeah. You know, and it was the first time in a long time that uh, people had gotten that well organized mm -hmm. and, and all of the things they did, like the kicking up. The school for the kids. Exactly, and the wings and the free clinics yes. and stuff. Oh, yes. that's right, I work in the free clinics. Yes. That's one way I work in the Exactly. Well, thank you for the way you did. Well, you're welcome. Have a great day. Thank have you a great for telling day. me. Have a good one. celebration for the Seattle chapter of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. So before I go into the exhibit, I just want to let you guys know that this museum is awesome. It has so many names, so many faces of African Americans and their footprint here in the Pacific Northwest. When I come up here, I realize that in the area that I live in, that I do not see a lot of people that look like me. However, comma, there are some businesses that were displayed that are where I live at and also so much history. Like there are names that we have never heard of. It has everything in here from the railroad quarters to a timeline from us arriving through the Middle Passage all the way to the diaspora back here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera so that you guys can see what I'm seeing and I'll probably go into the exhibit in about two minutes, okay? Once again, I am here at the Northwest African American Museum here in Seattle. And um, right here, of course, if you guys are familiar with the term Sankofa or the movie Sankofa or just, um, just 
just the the stories of how our our ancestors came through the middle passage and the things that they had to endure so this here is one of the collars that was worn by an unknown slave but it was owned by a gentleman a confederate captain in the army of northern virginia during the civil war it is believed the slave was able to break the collar and escape during the 1862 seven days battle near richmond virginia now i lived in virginia for a good minute and i never heard of this so i'm going to go home and look up this seven days battle but i am happy that whoever he was he was able to escape because this was the most awful holocaust so don't get it twisted don't let anybody downplay it but this was what happened to black people was the most awful holocaust and you know we're still dealing with the the pts the, B, the ptss from that and everything else so do not downplay the strength of our people or let anybody else take that from us okay and never forget never forget don't get over it okay so again here was the timeline this, this timeline was really good as it documented the movement of African Americans through the Pacific Northwest up here in this area of Seattle Tacoma the Puget Sound area including Oregon okay and I just want to say hi to everybody who is joining me as we are getting ready to go into this exhibit here and this is the Black Panther Party of Seattle their 50th anniversary here in Seattle okay so if you can read this, um, it was from, it's, it's an ongoing exhibit. This was one of the days I forced myself to get up and get over here because I had to see this before I miss it. And also, as I was unpacking, I found my Black Panther Party for Self-Defense shirt. So I'm like, go ahead and put that on and come right over here, okay? And here is another powerful image. I love this image here because this is actually the state building here in Olympia okay and one thing if you don't know me by now here's an introduction I am very pro firearm I'm very pro weapon I'm going to share a video later about uh, a, a black mother who was able to defend herself her home and her children through it because of an invader so I'm going to share that video later if you saw my other post about the holster that I was reviewing I am very pro gun and it is because of these gentlemen here that exercise their right to bear arms and defend their property it's because of them I'm able to do what I do today so do not ever let anybody you know tell you that they were a terrorist group or nothing everybody who was on WIC are benefiting from WIC the women infants and children because of these gentlemen here so never let them take that from us they were um, illegally infiltrated destroyed from the inside by outside influences so make sure you teach your children about them and these are our black men right here they were no punks okay so I'm so glad that there was a chapter up here and there, there still is and there is work going on behind closed doors okay so we're going to go ahead and go into the exhibit here okay we're going to start on the right side this here is the powerful powerful speaker stokely carmichael I just want to let you guys read the exhibits. Hope you guys can see it. I'll probably uh, edit this and upload it to YouTube later. But I just want you guys to see what this exhibit is about here in Seattle, okay? This here is really powerful. Whenever you see a wicker chair, you either think about one of two things. Your parents' house back in the early 90s or that powerful picture with Dr. Huey P. Newton. And this here was their 10 point program. So I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to take my picture and I sit in that chair. It's not an exact chair, but it's just a replica, but it's all good. Try to get a picture before I leave. And over here you got the famous black berets of the fallen comrades. Remember these these names. Have have your children write write essays on these names as 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 a homeschooling extra project, okay? You cannot trust that this is being taught at school to your child. They're they're at school, learn about the founding fathers and 
pilgrims and Indians and all types of lies, okay? So it's important that you teach your children the truth, okay? About their culture, their history, because no one else is going to do it. And if anything, they will teach your children to fear these faces, to fear these images, and give them their own narrative, okay? But it's up to you to give them the truth. And here we go, Arm for Revolution. This is powerful, okay? You can, cannot exist, especially in this country, with, without armed power, okay? Get out there, get your firearm before you buy any other trinkets. Don't buy rims, don't buy TVs, don't buy you a new couch set. Go ahead and get, get you some, 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 I don't even know what to say, but get you a firearm, okay? Get trained, get your license, and get familiar with them, okay? This is the difference between life and death, okay? Protect yourself, protect your family, or everything that those gentlemen did was in vain. They did that for us. Make sure you look up H. Rat Brown. Have your children look them up and write a little essay on him, okay? This is powerful. And these are just some different programs that are still in existence today, but it's not credited to the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, such, such as Free Health Clinic, the WIC program for children, breakfast for school-aged children. I know a lot of children benefit in the summertime when they're able to go to, go to schools and still have lunch and breakfast, okay? This was started by the Black Panthers. But the USDA gets the credit and other people get the credit, but they did this for us, okay? This was not a terrorist group. And this is the powerful image here, feeding our children, okay? This here is the face, I know you saw this over here. The Carolyn Downs Family Medical Center. This is her face right here. This is her. This is Carolyn Downs. Beautiful sister. Again, right over here, speaking more about locally the Seattle's free breakfast program. And at times when I, I go in on the church, I do. I'm going on a church, I go in on Christianity, but what I'm, what I'm going in on and want to raise awareness for is for the churches to get back to being for us, okay? Not selling us heaven tickets or other stuff. They were for us doing stuff, feeding the children, giving us safe, safe places to spread our messages, okay? That's, that's the stuff that I be going off on because our, our church is now is punks. It's about a business and about other stuff. It's not, not about advancing us as a people. I'm walking around to show you guys more of this exhibit here. The powerful image. And then, of course, most notably, the black jacket, the buttons, and the beret. This is one of the powerful images. I love it. I'll share a link later. I ordered these buttons here. It comes in like a set of eight. But they are really, really beautiful to have. So I will share that later. So I'm going to flip the camera. You're going to see me. Hi, I'm back. So I'm going to start right here and just say thank you for joining me as I visited the Northwest African American Museum here in Seattle. And most notably, here to see the Black Panther Party for Self Defense Seattle Chapter's 50th anniversary. So make sure you give the video a thumbs up, you share it, comment, and let me know if there's anything like this going on in your area. Like I said, here's my shirt. I'll share a big for it later. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time, okay? Thank you so much for watching this and learning about our great people, our great legacy. So I will see you next time. I spit on the mic, so you should pay attention. Flow smooth like a thief in the night. So hear my